Okay, so the first thing that I want to say is that I absolutely love the movie Dunkirk. It is one of my top favorite movies already. It's on my list. It's just amazing. I came back from watching Dunkirk again, and it's still an incredible film. In my last video, I explained a couple of reasons why I absolutely love the movie Dunkirk, so you guys could check that out. So I'm doing this video to just point out a couple of things that I didn't mention in my last video. So for starters, number one, I am not a historian. I'm not majoring in history. I just like to research history on my spare time, on my free time. I listen to podcasts about history on my way to work or school and during my lunch time and in my free time. I just I like to listen to things that happened in history. Prior to watching Dunkirk, I knew a bit, I knew the general history of Dunkirk, but after watching this film, I really, really wanted to research more in depth about what really led up to Dunkirk and what happened afterwards. So I've been listening to podcasts and listening to stories from veterans, from the pilots to the soldiers, to the civilians that went on their boats to save the men, to help evacuate the men in Dunkirk. It is so fascinating and I'll link all those podcasts and so I'll link some podcasts and articles on the down bar below so you guys can check them out. So good. So moving on to my second point, a couple of people said that they didn't include or they didn't show the French army that much or the other armies that were involved. Christopher Nolan for sure wanted this movie to be specifically in the point of view of the Brits. He wanted to show the British side, even though Churchill later on gave the orders to evacuate the French troops as well. And the movie doesn't show the 40,000 men that stayed behind in Dunkirk, trying to defend Dunkirk and trying to buy everyone some time so the soldiers could evacuate and they had to stay behind. The movie doesn't show what happens before Dunkirk or after Dunkirk, it's just what happens during. But believe me, there's a lot that builds up to Dunkirk and a lot of things that happen afterwards. But like I said, I will link some podcasts and articles on down bar below so you guys can check them out. My third point. I understand not everyone is gonna love this movie. I understand maybe war movies aren't your thing. Maybe you don't like Christopher Nolan's style. Maybe you don't like the color grading in this film. Maybe you don't even like the sound of the ticking clock in the film score. Whatever your reason is, that's fine. Everyone has different tastes in movies and I keep trying to say that. Let's just respect everyone else's opinions and views on films and yeah. But I read an article about someone that said that Dunkirk was mostly male cast and there aren't many females and they were upset about that and that's why they didn't like this film. Okay, first of all, this is supposed to be, this is supposed to represent what happened in history. Just wanna put that out there. In history, unless, unless I'm wrong, unless I researched it wrong, but women didn't really fight in World War II. They served in different areas and they did help a lot during World War II and of course women have contributed so much in history which trust me I know I know that but they weren't necessarily fighting there were women engineers there were nurses and in the film you see the nurses you see the women nurses risking their lives trying to help these soldiers and also in the boats you kind of see some women that decided to you know help out in the evacuation effort they show that but for the general thing it's mostly supposed to be men because that's what happened in history. Now, for whoever's mad about that, if you want a film that has a strong female lead and there's elements of Dunkirk in there and a soldier that falls in love, then I highly recommend you watch Atonement. It is a great, great, great film, okay? It's, it's amazing, then I highly recommend that. Don't hate Dunkirk for trying to be historically accurate. All right, just wanted to put that out there. Okay, so overall, if someone didn't hear me in my last video, I'm just gonna say it in this one, I highly recommend you guys watch Dunkirk. I literally recommend this movie to everyone that I see and I know. I encourage men, women, young, old people to go and watch this film because it is just a masterpiece, not only cinematically, but just the whole story and, you know, it's history and I say it's pretty accurate to what actually happened in Dunkirk. Now, of course, it's a couple of things were missing and you know everyone has their own interpretations of things I totally get it but in my opinion I thought it was pretty accurate from the things that I've researched alright guys so I had to express my feelings and my thoughts on certain things and I hope you enjoyed this video So if you know someone that was a veteran from World War 2 or you know a story from a veteran that served during World War 2 I would be super interested to listen to their stories on the comments on the down bar below if you guys know if not um have you seen Dunkirk and what did you think about it and yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching and 
If you're new to my channel, I post a brand new video every single week. All my social media links will be on the down bar below along with the podcast and a couple of web articles. So you could feel free to check those out. And I'll talk to you guys next time.